Hey, good morning, everybody. Sarasota Tim coming to you from inside the Crasher right here in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. And uh, it is a warm morning. It is, I don't know, 75 degrees out there already. I got my air conditioning on and I'm washing my, um, my rug so I don't have all my beautiful, gorgeous rugs down. Um, I put them out and I'm getting ready to do a bunch of laundry this morning. I'm just trying to make a cup of coffee. And I found, uh, I, did a, I, did, I made a bad mistake. I left this end, this pod, in my um, Keurig, and it was moldy and gross looking. So I'm running a, um, a thing of water through uh, the machine right now uh, to, uh, there it is, it's done. So now we will start over again. And let's put this in here can you see me and uh, we're gonna have to add some water hang on a minute all right I got some water in here in the refrigerator all right man it's nice to be back in this mansion uh, compared to the little teardrop I didn't know how to act last night with a shower and Queen bed. Uh, I still had to lay down in my bed, so that's the same. <laughs> All right, so you close that, and I should have this back on top of my little white thing there, but um, I didn't. I ground some fresh coffee. Smells delicious. Uh, that the retired barber, Miss Deb, sent me. Got two pounds of Barris. Um, Highlander Grog. This is the best coffee you ever drank in your life. And this morning for uh, milk and sugar, I have no sugar. So I'll be using the thick and rich and creamy powdered sugar. I mean uh, creamer. We can go ahead and put that in right now. Takes a couple minutes before that water starts to come out. I got it's a number, I already know. <laughs> and I got some more coffee here uh, ready for the, the next cup. And I will be having the next cup. So um, <clears throat> put this back over here. Let me show you guys around a little bit. So you guys remember uh, the crown. Let me turn the camera around. So you guys remember uh, it's a, um, a double slide. Here's the uh, theater seats right here. And uh, we got Jesus calling. There's my two. Uh, one's a Blue Eddie on the bottom, and the other one is a VTO man, Vitoman. And uh, I'm going to be taking this one, uh, the the uh, the big one, because it has a 30 amp plug on it, right there. And I can just plug my my uh, camper right into that. It'll run the air conditioning and TV and everything. And I got a sound bar here for my TV, my fireplace. And uh, I have a stove. It's never been used. <laughs> and an oven. Never used. Well, I did use the oven once. I made a pizza. Okay. But I've never actually used the uh, stove. It's got a microwave. Never been used. Still got the plastic on here and everything. Uh, there's my uh, tripod. And we go on back in here. Uh, you have the, uh, the bathroom with the shower. And there's a skylight up there, which is really nice. There's my shower head that I did change out from what they gave me. And uh, there you go. Got that big bar of soap that the uh, subscriber sent me. Um, where are they? Here they are, these things. Body detailer. <laughs> Remember she's a bomb? It's she a bomb. Yeah, I messed that one up. And thanks for helping me out on that spelling of the uh, whatever it was the other day. All right, here we go. It's the uh, it's the big bedroom. Uh, we've got the queen bed with the full queen slide out. Uh, this is my nice uh, bed bed clothes that I bought at um, Kohl's. Got all my nice pillows, and of course the whole reason I bought this uh, was all this room I have between the bed and a full length mirror. Big drawers down here. I got a shoe closet there. 
There's also big drawers here. And this even lifts up. And look at that. It's got this aluminum railing, aluminum structure. It's very well made. There's my leaf blower and all my stuff that's accessible from the outside of the RV. And I'll be going through all this and figuring out what I need to take on the trip. There's no reason to drive this or take this, I should say, because I don't need to take everything I own and pull all of that with me. Uh, I've got my little light on down here. Let me turn that off. It's right up here. I'll leave that on at night. Big double, double action. Um, medicine cabinet. Oh, this is my latest procurement. It's a, uh, you just take this here and do that. And then you can fold that down. That cool. <laughs> do your little ironing right there, man. And of course, you know, I have the Chia iron. The Chia iron is right here. It's got a million holes on the bottom, the titanium bottom. It's a Chia. And it's a hundred dollar iron right there. I love ironing. Huge. A plethora of room. And then, um, you got all that storage up there. I've never put anything in there. I've got another TV that actually comes all the way out, turns around. You can lay in bed. It's got a remote control right there. And uh, this is another window. There's two windows on the sides with blinds that pull down. Uh, this is also a privacy room. You can take this off right here and you have your barn door. A little magnet right down here connects to it. And now, if you're in the bedroom and you need to go to the living room, or the kitchen combo <laughs> and uh, you you know someone's taking a shower and you don't want to disturb them you got a door now I have the stairs in right now I don't use this door so much but if this when the stairs are out you can just exit the door and go to the other door and just come in the RV and this person in here can be private because there's another door here to to keep this a private restroom and of course, I leave it open. And it's super high ceiling. It's got the fantastic fan, exhaust fan. You open that up and it's, uh, it sucks the air right out. Just leave that on there. It's got a beautiful uh, refrigerator, a black glass. And these, are, of course, fully reclined. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That is good coffee. In here you have an abundance of storage. Uh, there's a drawer down there. Stuff here. Drawers there. Crazy room here. A fantastic little RV. Like I said, it's got the high ceilings. I added a couple of accessories. This came from my subscriber. Thank you very much for that. These kind of match each other. And uh, what it's really missing that makes the camper, to me, the best is I have one there, one there, one there, rug, and another one here. And I bought them at Kohl's. They are extremely thick, soft, fluffy. Uh, they're kind of this color. Uh, you can see them in my previous videos. And <clears throat> while I was here, uh, there was some rain and stuff, and I was coming in and out and everything. And when I got back, I just put them out. So uh, when I got home yesterday, last night I got busy as a bee. That's why I didn't make a video. I just went to bed. I took those rugs out of here. I'm going to take them to a laundromat and wash them. I think they have sand and, and everything. They're so pretty. I don't want them to get messed up. Like this is just a raggedy old thing I used to wipe my feet off on when I come in. So I just want to get those washed. I've got another load of laundry to do. I'm, you know, I'm busy today preparing to leave. And I'm going to be bringing these slides in. As you can see, these slides come into right here. There's no room for those um, uh, seats. But <laughs> no problem. I got a big 23, 26 by 12 or 18. I don't know, a huge storage thing out there. that has got a floor in it. He's got lawn equipment in there. He's got a motorcycle in there. It's a giant. You can live in it. 
with a nice solid floor. So uh, that's about it. You guys wanted a, another little tour. Ah, just sitting here enjoying the coffee now, and we we'll might do a little devotional this morning to inspire ourselves. That's the beautiful Flagstaff 25 FKBS. Crushing it.